from Simon Levay. Levay was one of many scientists who was interested in the study of sexuality. He was specifically a neuroscientist who also identified with homosexuality. In the year 1991, Levay wondered. I wonder if homosexuality has something to do with the brain. That's when Levay got an idea and decided to conduct a study and experiment. The aim to Levay's study was to examine the nuclei of the anterior hypothalamus of the brain. This is also known as INAH3. This is the hypothalamus. The reason as to why the INAH3 is chosen specifically is because it is linked to sexuality. It is also believed to be sexually dimorphic, meaning that the size is affected based on sexuality. Levay's hypothesis claims that homosexual males and heterosexual females would have smaller INAH3s than heterosexual males and homosexual females. Brain tissue was collected from 41 subjects, 35 being male and 6 being female. Of the 35 males, 19 were homosexuals who died from AIDS, 16 were heterosexual, 6 of which who died from AIDS, and 10 who died from unknown causes. And the 6 females were presumed heterosexual, and also, 1 died from AIDS while the remaining 5 died from unknown causes. <laughs>